Ultralights come in many forms. The most popular designs are trikes, which are simple fuselages suspended under standard hang gliding wings. Also popular are powered parachutes. It's not only limited to one category of aircraft. There are ultralight airplanes, helicopters, and even gyrocopters. Ultralights in their various iterations share one thing in common. They offer fun and value to the aviation enthusiast who owns them. It's true that you don't need a license to fly these planes, but even airline pilots love flying them, just for the fun of flying. So what's wrong with being fully certified? If you're thinking about getting into the world of ultralight flying, here are 10 of the most popular ultralight aircraft worthy of consideration. Before we hit the ground running, always remember that even though a pilot license is not required, training is highly recommended. Thundergull 2000 This design was first introduced in the 1970s, and since then, countless pilots have enjoyed this fun aircraft. This trailerable, kit-built aircraft is fun. The Gull 2000 is one of the best-looking ultralights in the sky. It has a sleek, enclosed airframe with fiberglass components. This plane is available as a kit that comes complete with a jig-welded roll cage, seat belts, and a full cabin windscreen. Like many small ultralights, this one is trailerable for maximum versatility. Owners can keep the plane in their garage and tow it to the airport to save on hangar or tie-down costs. It also helps that they can build and work on them in their garage workshops, then move them to the airport when finished. This airplane used the 28-horsepower Hearth F-33 engine, which helps it to cruise at 63 miles per hour and climb at 700 feet per minute with a range of 164 miles. Stall speed is 26 miles per hour, takeoff distance is 125 feet, and it only needs a landing distance of 75 feet. Pterodactyl Ascender The Pterodactyl Ascender was first built in the late 1970s, and they've been extremely popular. It has a hang glider style design. Considerable care has been taken in the design and testing process. The result is a near stall and spin resistant aircraft with superior handling qualities both on the ground and in the air. The responsive ailerons provide roll control throughout a stall attempt. The beginning flyer will find an aircraft that is easy to fly, stable, and forgiving. It maintains the responsive and nimble control necessary for the demanding pilot. All of the pterodactyl ascender models are fun, not so cross-country machines, but some pilots have flown them from coast to coast many times and I seriously admire their bravery. This plane uses the 16 horsepower Zenawa 242 engine, which helps it cruise at 45 miles per hour over 100 miles with a reasonable stall speed of 17 miles per hour. Aeromarine Merlin Light The Merlin Light is an exciting new entrant into the ultralight field. As a modified version of the Merlin, the Light has a roomy cockpit that can fit a pilot up to 6 foot 6 inches tall. It requires a BRS rescue system to increase the allowable weight under Part 103, else it must be registered as an experimental aircraft. It has a gorgeous panel in the cockpit with a GPS full EFIF with artificial horizon, airspeed, altimeter, G-meter, heading indicator, compass, and ball. This aircraft pack features typically reserved for fully registered aircraft in an ultralight frame. It can have either tricycle gear or be configured as a tail dragger. Additional features include padded seat belts, BRS full aircraft rescue system, twin hydraulic brakes with Tundra tires, bubble windows, and a cargo area that can fit your camping gear. This plane uses the Polini 250DS two-stroke engine, which helps it to cruise at 55 miles per hour, climb at 700 feet per minute, all at a range of 110 miles. This plane comes ready to fly for only $35,500. Jordan Lake Airbike 103 Unlike many planes on our list, this one is available only as a kit. It's a simple airframe 
that consists of a tubular steel frame with wooden wings. The company says it takes about 450 hours to build one. Standard features include an open cockpit, removable wings, steerable tailwheel, tank, factory welded fuselage, and tail. Options include various engines, folding wings, brakes, wheel pants, and various quick build and assembly packages. Ground handling is docile, and the turn radius is seriously good. The rudder pedals need only moderate pressure, and they're positioned very well considering the lack of structure around them. The Jordan Lake Airbike 103 uses the 28 Hertz F33, which helps it comfortably cruise at 50 miles per hour and climb at 1,000 feet per minute with a range of 150 miles. You can build this aircraft yourself with as little as $9,000. Buckeye Dragonfly Powered Parachute A powered parachute is the ultimate ultralight vehicle. For DIY builders, they represent a unique combination of simplicity, fun, and quick build times. There are two-seater and larger options for pilots who do not need to remain within the limits of FAR Part 103. For the single-seat model, the fuselage is nothing more than a tubular aluminum frame with tricycle or quad landing gear and a seat. A pusher engine is mounted behind the pilot, which turns a standard propeller. Lift is accomplished with the lifting wing parachute. This enables the craft to have very short takeoff distances and low stall speeds. The Buckeye sells for around $14,000 ready to fly. Northwing Maverick 2RT Trikes are widely considered flying motorcycles, and I think of the Northwing Maverick 2 as the Jeep of flying. The Maverick 2 trike is built with high ground clearance, so you can fly out of landing areas that are not perfect. The Outlander tires upgrade to large 17.5-inch tires and will provide even higher ground clearance. The leaf spring suspension provides great flex, more efficient than coil springs that cause recoil bouncing. Mainframe components are bolted together with no aluminum welding. The front fork is a trailing link style steering to ensure stable and solid tracking. The leaf spring gear rear suspension comes from an airplane design using proven 7075 alloys. The Maverick airframe will maintain its structural integrity for many years to come. You can enjoy years of sturdy and confident flying knowing your Northwing ultralight aircraft has a rugged and well-designed airframe with superior suspension that will not wear out from everyday use. Speaking of handling characteristics, whether you're on the ground taxiing or on a takeoff run or landing, the Maverick will feel solid and secure. In the air, it's no different. Handling is stable and light. The Maverick uses the 40-horsepower Kawasaki 440 engine, which helps it cruise at 55 miles per hour climb at 600 feet per minute, and with a range of 100 miles. Flightstar 2SC The Flightstar is a simple and light single-seater which found favor in the marketplace of the early 1980s when ultralights were the new darlings of sports aviation. Flightstars are built with aluminum tubing for the fuselage and wing structures, with the wings covered in sailcloth. These materials help create very light aircraft. Its enclosure keeps you out of the wind, and its simple construction and design mean easy flying and reduced maintenance. By law, they are designed to be very slow. Ultralights can't exceed 55 knots max straight and level speed, and the experimental versions aren't much faster. They also fly in a way that is very adverse to yaw and sensitive to gusts. There are no flaps, which is okay because the plane slips beautifully. Planes like this aren't for long cross-country flights because they're slow, have limited range, and there are few creature comforts for the occupants. Instead, they excel at exactly what they were designed to do. Go flying low and slow, the way all flying once was, and the way many feel it's best done to this day. You can find them for around $15,000 with good sailcloth and low time, giving you a low initial investment, low maintenance costs, and a sky-high fun factor. Kolb Firestar The Firestar was first introduced in 1993. 
It features a welded steel fuselage, folding wings, steerable tailwheel, spring steel landing gear, a 5-gallon fuel tank, and a two-blade wood prop. Options include the 503 Rotax engine, brakes, full enclosure, ballistic parachute, instrument, composite prop, and strobe light. The aircraft is available in several quick build kits, partial kits, and fully assembled versions. The combination of a simple folding wing, excellent stall capabilities, responsive controls, and a dynamite stability profile all make the Firestar one of the best deals in ultralight aviation. By the way, this is a very sweet tail dragger that is not at all taxing to those who are still learning the art and craft of conventional gear. It's a great aircraft by any standard. Using the 41 horsepower Rotax 447 and a two blade wooden prop, the Firestar will launch in a mere 125 feet. A grass strip is no problem, and will climb at 1,000 feet per minute. Landing requires just 150 feet. The cruise is listed at 60 miles per hour. The top speed is 70 miles per hour. Cold advertises a sedate 29 mile per hour stall. The U.S. Aviation Cloud Dancer The U.S. Aviation Cloud Dancer is a single-seat, low-wing, ultralight motor glider in a pusher configuration. It is a tail dragger with center-mounted stick and left-hand throttle. The rudder control system uses rudder vaders, and the wing is equipped with spoiler rods. It has an 80% double-surface cantilever wing with 132 square feet of wing area. The plane is powered by a 277 Rotax 28 horsepower engine using a 2.24 to 1 Rotax reduction drive and has electric start, which allows the pilot to shut the engine off and then restart in the air. It first flew at Sun in Fun in 1996 and was being produced by Team Aircraft. When Team was unable to produce the Cloud Dancer in kit form, Jim Colley, the designer, formed Aerodreams to produce it under license from U.S. Aviation, who also produced the Super Floater sailplane. The concept was to produce a reasonably priced motor glider with a 20 to 1 glide angle and a 200 foot per minute sink rate, a blend of good performance and responsive handling airplane. 18 to 1 glide angle has been achieved with the Rotax 447 engine, giving a 700 foot per minute climb rate. It's economical, using one and a quarter gallons per hour at 60 miles per hour, and takes off at 200 feet. Another important consideration was for it to be stored and transported easily, and it'll fit into a double garage with its 20-foot fuselage and 201-foot wings. And it's user-friendly with a 420-pound empty weight. If you like our videos, please smash the like and subscribe button. You can also join us by clicking on the link next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.